<laughs> Mind you, I can't see you suffering for a midlife crisis and chasing young birds all over the gaff. You've already got one on the phone, haven't you? Yeah. Phil, tell me, come on, how'd you do it? What? I mean, keep someone as nice as Lisa interested. I mean, let's face facts, you'd bore through the mill, wouldn't you? Must be me charm. Yeah. You sure she ain't gonna bad for that ring? No way. Lisa knows the score. Phil, they're women, mate. They're all the same. <sighs> Stop winding me up, will you? We find the way we are. Anyway, you're just jealous. Yeah. All right. You've been busy? Yeah, well, it needed it, eh? I've, uh, done the washing and all. It's up in the bathroom. Cheers. I'll make a start in the kitchen. Do you want a cup of tea? All right. What's going on? What do you mean? Look, come on. I weren't born yesterday. What's with all the buttering up? Look, I, I want to talk to you. Let me guess. Lisa. Look, are you really going to let her take this job? What do you mean? Am I going to let her? Well, I'm only going to try and talk her out of it. But people do what they want to do, Jay. Nothing I can say is going to make any difference. Well, it might. I mean, maybe she's just waiting for you to ask her to stay. Well, if she is, tough, because, because I'm not into playing games. I don't understand you sometimes. I mean, don't you care about her? Of course I do, but... Well, this job's a big opportunity for her. If she wants to take it, then good luck to her. Fine. I know Lisa means a lot to you, but... But these things happen, you know? Nothing stays the same forever. Don't treat me like a kid, Phil. I'm not, I'm not. And as it happens, I've been thinking over the last days about... about making you an offer. What sort of offer? Well, I... I wondered if you fancy coming into business with me. Doing what? Well, I've got a lot on right now. You know, the snooker all, the, the calf, in my business. I need to train someone up to, to keep an eye on things for me. No, thanks. Why, well, you got something better lined up? No. So what's the problem? Well, maybe I just don't want to work for a bloke who's got no guts. Don't look at me. Phil, I thought it was means meant to be relaxing. I tell you what, I'm going to call it a night because once the sober punters start fighting, then we're bang in trouble. All right, everyone, that'll do. Thank you very much, please. Cheers. Oh, I'm sorry, right now. It's just this business release is doing what I did. Look, I could have swore you told me it weren't everything. You don't want her to go, do you? No, of course I don't. Well, then go and tell her. I can't. She'll be giving up a big chance. And for what? I don't even know exactly what I feel about it. Well, that's fair enough. Just as long as you're not using it as an excuse, that's all. How do you mean? Look, Phil, all I'm trying to say is, I mean, sooner or later, you're going to have to take a risk. And when you get to our age, they don't come along so often. Cup of coffee, please, Robbie. Come on, mate. And once people get used to the store being there, then I can get more stock. The more I can buy, the more I can sell. Sounds like you've got big plans. I just can't believe I was in Ian's shop for so long. Listen, mate, I want to get your opinion on something. Watch where you're going. What are you were saying? Mr. Rowe? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm here about the job as a doorman. Yeah, well, I've just done the last interview. Yeah, I know, I'm a little bit late. See, I wish it was at 12.30. <laughs> Listen, pal, uh, no offence, but I think I've already filled the position. Oi, you ain't even gonna give us an interview. You're 45 minutes late. And me bus broke down. That is the honest truth. Oh, come on, mate, please. Just give us five minutes, Go on, eh? go and sit down. What did you say your name was? Billy. It's all about experience, then. Well, not so much as a doorman, but I've worked in a few boozers. Oh, yeah? So why'd you leave your last job? I had a bit of a falling out with a governor. He tried to loan me wages. I take it there's no point in asking for a reference, then? I oh, know, he never got nasty. I, I, I just didn't like the way I was being treated. Listen, Billy, uh, to be honest with you, you're not exactly what I had in mind for job as doorman. Ah, oh, well, look after myself. I mean, anyone you want sorted, you just say the word. Yeah, well, it's not that sort of place. You know, we were looking for someone who's uh, smart, someone courteous, someone with a bit more presence, you know what I mean? What about bar work, then? I mean, anything. Listen, I'll be in touch. OK. All right, then. What's he doing here? Well, you know him. Yeah, well, he's one of the Mitchells. Billy Mitchell. We can't take him on. He's bad news, mate. Well, I thought you were going to leave the hiring up to me. If Phil knew he was hanging around in Warford, he'd go mental. Billy's the reason he ended up in hospital. Is that right? There you go. Cheers. So I had to go with you and Lisa last night. And I noticed she never came home. 
Well, we had a, we had a good night. Did you ask her about moving in? Might have done. Well, she said yes. So I told you I had nothing to worry about. You, uh, you realised we were going to have to start changing some of our ways, didn't you? How do you mean? Well, that house ain't no woman in it for years. We have to start tidying up after ourselves. Phil, I always do. You're the only slob living there. <laughs> Go along. What's it to you? Um, the car won't start. It's not catching for some reason. Couldn't have a quick look, could you? So what happened to you in the market earlier on? Too scared to get involved, was you? Well, I had my hands full, didn't I? Anyway, weren't my problem. And guess what? Your car ain't my problem either. <laughs> you know, I don't know what the big deal is here. You know, if that geezer was nicking stuff off Jamie's stool, it couldn't have been anything decent, could it? I don't want your business. It's as simple as that. In fact, people don't even want to see your face right now. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do, Sheriff? Run me out of town. Well, come on in. Let me see you try. It's about time. Afternoon, boss. Not too early for you, am I? Is that the best shirt you got? Yeah, what's the matter with it? Yeah, remember to use the iron in it next time, eh? Right, where do I start? The cloths and the polish are in the back room. Go and help yourself. What? I thought I was going to be working out front. I never offered you the job as Dorman, did I? Well, what exactly is my job title, then? Let's call it, uh, Pop Boy and, uh, General Gopher, shall we? You're having a laugh, aren't you? <laughs> Look, if you've got other offers, Mr Mitchell, no, no, no. That sounds fine. Well, like I said, cloths and the polish in the back room. Oh, by the way, um, for you from anybody else, Lisa's not moving in after all. What's happened? Seems like it wasn't such a good idea. How could you do this to her? Do what? Oh, you know what I'm talking about. Why do you assume that it's all my fault? What, you're gonna leave her at a time like this? What sort of man are you, Phil? Look, just hang on a second, will ya? Now, for the record, it's got nothing to do with me. She's the one that came to me and called the whole thing off. She didn't give you a reason? Well, not one that made any sense, no. Jay, don't get involved. Jay, are you listening to me? No. Are you sure he knows what he's doing? Uh, you prove yourself to me, Billy boy. One day I'll let you work the door. Yeah, but how long am I going to be washing up for? Patience, my son. Patience. But is it all right if I have me break now? Yeah, uh, but why don't I take you for a drink, eh? You know, welcome you aboard. What, are you buying? Yeah, yeah, of course. Go on, go and get your jacket. We'll go over to Vic. The Queen Vic? Yeah. You got a problem with that? It's just a couple of faces I'd rather not bump into it, to be honest. You don't have to worry about that now. You're part of the community, all right? Anyone gives you any grief? You just tell them you're working for Steve Owen. All right, you are then. Hadn't we better get back to the club? What's the matter? They can cope with that for a little bit longer, can't they? Right. Same again? Cheers. Right, <laughs> Who's that? Billy. Your uncle Billy? That's him. No, I think we should just get out of here. No. He's the one who should be leaving. <laughs> Do you think we should warn Phil about it? No. The mood he's in probably ain't a good idea. Leave it to me. I think you'd better leave. It's your little girlfriend, is it, Jamie? Look, no one wants any trouble. Can you just go, please? Do you mind? Me and my new employee are trying to have a quiet drink together. You're what? I'm working for Mr. Rowan there, Jamie. So you better get used to seeing him around. 
You are unbelievable. Lisa. But wherever it is, I ain't interested. What is it with you? And what is it with you? What do you want? See how you are. I'll be fine. But I'll leave you to it. No, don't. Because I don't want to talk to him. Lisa, I'm sorry. But you're making things worse. So what should I do, Jamie? Go away, eh? Looks like she's finally come to her senses. At last. What did you say? Yeah. Give you the elbow. Right, that's it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get him off! 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 Let go of him! You let go of him now! This is your last warning, and I will use this. Let go of him! You're a lunatic! Right, you get through the back. Right, it's okay, it's sorted, there is not a problem. Hands back and get back. I don't think that's necessary. Did I ask your opinion? Right, you, I've had enough of this nonsense. You sit down and you don't move. <laughs> 